I used to always think, what is my work in ICICI, what does that impact, right? So me facilitating a finance agreement is helping some, uh, somebody with money to build roads in, across India and that infrastructure is helping people. So impact was one thing where always it was a nagging thing, right? Like, uh, how can me, uh, this is a very indirect kind of impact, but uh, I was probably craving for where I could see that meaningful impact for my own kind of life. One of our family quizzes, in fact, we had uh, Zerodas founder, Mr. Nitin Kamat, uh, with his child, uh, and who came, he saw the family quiz and so on. And um, after that, uh, we had a conversation. Uh, we had, of course, reached out to him on LinkedIn and all of that, but this kind of really connected. And um, Rain Matter Capital actually seeded us with our angel capital at the first instance. And जब जॉब और करियर बस चलता है, then this is how the entire day looks like. करियर को बस चलाओ नहीं भगाओ भी. Log on to altuni.in. Earn more at your current job or get a new one that does. Learn from experts, work on life industry projects and get high paying job opportunities. Find the link in description. Content really is the driver for a good quizzing experience. Right? So that's another kind of thing that we think that there is value in that as well. So yeah, so these are some of the reasons why we think that there is a market uh, for powering brands to meaningfully engage through quizzes. Was it the logical step that you guys took after you, know, you went through schools and you worked with governments? Did you also start working with corporates? Do you have any stories around that as well? We knew that uh, quizzing was a fun engagement, so we got corporate gigs uh, and these also happen serendipitously. Some of the parents who were in school started referring us to their uh, corporates, and that was one way. And we reached out to a couple of our network also. Primarily, which was used, quizzing was used for um, you know, employee engagement, fun quizzes. People were entering the organization. Uh, they wanted to uh, you know, uh, uh, ask interesting trivia about the company, right? from Goldman Sachs to other companies which we had done these interesting content for. So that was one of the starting point. Um, and brand awareness is the other piece, where using quizzes as a knowledge property. All of us remember Bonvita quiz contest, right? All of us kind of remember like a Tata Crucible. So there is a scope, or a KBC, right? Count by Nikola, this is a knowledge property, which is probably the most successful in terms of monetary terms uh, game show in India. I have a question. Why was KBC so successful? You always feel that, hey, do I know this answer to that question? whenever you're in a KBC format. So there is that engagement also. Hey, would I have gotten this much money if I was part of that? So that relatability is, I think, one thing. Um, second is, uh, you know, I, I feel there is a certain persona and aura that, uh, that Mr. Amitabh Bachchan brings to the table too, which is that following that enables for it. Uh, and I guess the generally human nature is to be curious to know more. <laughs> so I guess that's also a part, right? Like every Sunday, uh, uh, every day, having lunch time, uh, dinner time, watch a show where you know there is drama happening along with this. Uh, so that also I think plays into the uh, the shows. Did you ever think that you will bring these elements in Kushal as well? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Like I, I guess that's uh, one of the things, right? Like so we have what is called the three C's, which is. Um, whenever you, s you, you come up with any content, it needs to be contextual. And what do you mean by context is you should have felt, seen uh, uh, through your six senses some way. And creating surprises on those are one of the ways in which curiosity is sparked. Right? So that is, uh, contextual content is the most important thing. If you're teaching children, you're teaching adults, wherever. Law careers pay well, right, Raghav? Yeah, a hey, uh, pretty comfortable job. Yeah. So why leaving that all up for just for passion, or you saw something else also that you wanted to do? Yeah, you know, I used to travel uh, quite a bit for my office in MG Road from JP Nagar. It, it, in Bangalore traffic, it's in a nightmare. I used to always think, what is my work in ICICI? What does that impact? 
right? So me facilitating a finance agreement is helping some uh, somebody with money to build roads in across India, and that infrastructure is helping people. So impact was one thing where always it was a nagging thing, right? Like, uh, how can me? Uh, this is a very indirect kind of impact, but. Uh, I was probably craving for where I could see that meaningful impact for my own kind of life. I guess that uh, was the tipping point and I also was getting very comfortable with the job and the money, whatever. So today, uh, I mean, we've built a family quiz where we've had celebrities come and conduct it from Sudha Murthy ma'am to Mr. Sam Pitroda, Mr. Ruskin Bond, recently Ms. Usha Uttup. Uh, and the idea is to really bring different voices to a, a quiz from you know, uh, from history, music, culture, to other elements. This uh, gives me a segue to a very interesting story also that happened during these one of these family quizzes, which brought you your first uh, funding, I think? Yeah. So again, see, serendipity really plays a part in life. Uh, many people, like this is another learning, right? Like all of us, skill is, let's say, 50% of our life, luck and serendipity plays another very important part, yeah. Like those of you, how many of you play poker? You know, okay, so you guys would know, right? Poker, uh, life is, mimics it in very interesting way. Poker, playing poker mimics it. Um, so serendipity is very important. Um, so one of our family quizzes, in fact, we had uh, Zerodas founder, Mr. Nitin Kamath, uh, with his child, uh, and who came, he saw the family quiz and so on. And um, after that, uh, we had a conversation. Uh, we had, of course, reached out to him on LinkedIn and all of that, but this kind of really connected. And um, Rain Matter Capital actually seeded us with our angel capital at the first instance. And we had a couple of, couple of our parents of Kushala who put in money. That was like a validation. And a few of our advisors and mentors who also put in money at that point in time. So yes, um, that kind of was an interesting kind of story that started. Yeah. Have you guys uh, been to abroad also to conduct these quizzes to different countries or it's just India based? Yeah, here? so we hold a Limca book of record for being the first company to conduct a quiz in Antarctica. Um, this happened because there is a very interesting uh, 2041 expedition. You guys should check it out. It's run by a gentleman, uh, Robert Swan. Uh, Robert Swan tries to bring about uh, awareness on the wilderness of Antarctica and to ensure that exploitation of it doesn't happen. He takes a set of people every year, delegates to Antarctica. Uh, one of our colleagues was part of it, Mr. Shubhoji Josh, and was a senior of my, uh, from college. So he was gracious to conduct a quiz uh, from Kyushala, a uh, walnut uh, there uh, for the delegates in Antarctica. So that uh, enabled us to apply for Limca Book of Record and we got that. But after that, one of the quiz questions there was, you know, which is the first band in the world to conduct a concert in all continents of the world, including Antarctica? Metallica is the right answer. So Metallica uh, had conducted a quiz in, uh, sorry, had, had a concert in Antarctica. And they had a Guinness Book of Record for being the first uh, band to conduct a concert in all the continents of the world. That inspired us to say, why not conduct a quiz in all the continents of the world? So we went ahead and conducted a quiz in MIT in the US school in Chile, uh, a startup incubator center in Zambia, uh, in Europe, a pub quiz and at Hurti School of Public Policy, and many quizzes in India and Deakin University in Australia. And we were able to get a, the Limca Book of Record for being the first company to conduct a quiz on all continents. You know, the world is changing and the skills that you need is also changing rapidly, right? Quizzing definitely is one of those skills that you can bank on. Maybe you have built a business on quizzing. But if somebody wants to start up, say they have a niche, they want to start up in that, what sort of skills they should be banking on? That's my first question. And secondly, how do you see this entire space that you are in progressing in the next five, 10 years? To be an entrepreneur, right? Like I, I guess um, at least a lot of romanticization of founders are done, but it's a very hard journey, folks. It's hard. It's um, lonely, it's liberating at the same time. One of the reasons why it is so hard is managing uncertainty. Uh, startup journey involves a lot of uncertainty. You don't know whether your product is going to go, go up in the market. 
you don't know whether your team members are going to stay with you. There's lots of this one. You build it over a period of time. So one thing is decision making in the face of uncertainty is a very important kind of skill, I would say. Of course, the second is you need to love what you do, right? And truly believe in um, the value that it brings to the people. And that happens through experiments, that happens through validation. Uh, that, that's the driving force. Uh, else it's very easy to give up, right? So that's um, uh, another thing. I think third is uh, being curio curious is as important. Curiosity is, again, the heart of learning. And if you are a learning machine, you can manage uncertainty at any time, right? So you don't allow for that fixed mindset saying, hey, I can't do this, etc." But you'll be like, hey, let me figure it out. You'll build that figure it out mindset by being shifting worry from uncertainty to being curious. So how can we do that? Like That's one of the things that uh, I think is a superpower. The other one is building empathy. Uh, you know, this, this Mr. Baskar Bhatt of the Titan group, uh, we had a conversation with him. And I asked him, so what is one of the things that you is the most important skill? And it so resonated with me is we are never taught to listen. As an entrepreneur, I think it's very important to like not listen just from your ears, but completely understand problems of people. And therefore, empathy and listening is another very, very important skill, I would say, for managing people, uh, for being able to probably see a foresight of saying, hey, the market, and visualize saying the market could become something else. So the power of that imagination could come from that. Say, Raghav, uh, have you ever failed? In life? Many, many times. What's, what's the learning that you've taken from a failure that has still stayed with you? So for me, from failures, what I've learned is also this, the power of focus. I'll just kind of bring it, the reason why you said that and, and ki kind of thinking. Um, so this is a very interesting um, book I was reading. And this is about Steve Jobs. And one of his closest agency that he worked with for all the Mac ads and everything. Right? So they were on a converse conversation table. The head of that agency, the, the marketing agency, Chiat, he said he was just crumpling paper. Okay. And he, he just turned at Steve. He had one paper in one hand and he had five crumpled papers in one hand. He said, Steve, catch this. And he threw five things at Steve Jobs. Steve could not catch anything. Right? And then he said, catch this through one and he caught it, right? Very simply, power of simplicity and focus is very, very important. You can't be on two boats and try to go to two destinations at the same time. So one big learning in my different kind of experiences has been how do you focus? And I think that's a very important aspect and it's tough. On that note, I would like to open the stage for audiences. So are you also looking at building an application which is reaching to more mass through this phase yeah. or specifically focusing on organizing quizzes meant for people at a time and then taking it forward? Uh, so we are big fans of Kahoot, uh, at least to bring in that multiplayer game. If you have not played, you should try it. But you should try out what we have as a beta version that we are building. Uh, all of you, if you can just take a moment, go to quiz.qshala.com. H-T-T-P-S, quiz.qshala.com. In Kahoot, the idea is you need to create your quiz. Here, the idea is that uh, there are quizzes that the engine recommends to you, bases your interest. Second is, there are ready-made quizzes that you can play on like history, culture, Bangalore, whatever, cricket, etc. So that's something that we're doing, which is content play that is there, and we want to power more content on the site. So that's uh, one change from how, uh, at least from Kahoot uh, that we do. So it's very similar to QuizUp, but uh, in QuizUp, you could not select your uh, people. Like at some point you could actually, but now you can select people to play with and so on. You can do it with your friends, family, and so on, yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Jay. Uh, I used to be a passionate quizzer back in college, like in first year and second year oh, of super. junior college. Uh, I just wanted to ask you like one simple question. What kind of resources do you use to keep yourself abreast with like the happenings and to keep yourself like 
relevant in the quizzing world and you know the curious mind answer is a like more vague ambiguous answer but in terms of tangible resources or like a list of uh, websites or anything that you can guide us so yes. i'll tell you one hack yeah <laughs> you know how you became a good quizzer by actually becoming a quiz master because <laughs> when you start thinking like a quiz master you start making questions so what i started doing and that's another thing in the entrepreneurial journey that i want to tell you all is that um, at a point in time, uh, when the company comes to a certain level, you stop doing the groundwork. Like for example, in the initial three, four years, we, we used to sit and make the questions every single day, right? And then you start managing people for content and so on, right? So one hack is that always have a certain time of the day when you create, you create. It gives you a lot of happiness. So one of the things that I've been doing is on my Twitter handle, um, on uh, Twitter uh, every day, I just do it on my own cadence of asking a question a day to learn something new, right? So that is one thing. So you uh, actually creating a question. In terms of resources, uh, I'd love to tell you <laughs> our secret bag of, <laughs> but broadly, uh, we have a set of newspapers that we regularly follow from BBC, Guardian, Hindu, so on. So that is something that we regularly follow. There are a uh, lots of interesting books um, on different genres uh, that you do, right? And again, everyone knows books are very important kind of thing. But important here is to, when you think like a quiz master, everything you read, you keep thinking of whether this can be an interesting quiz question. So noting makes a very important thing. Then you're using Rome or other things to capture these articles become another very important thing. Um, so we have like regular jams in our office uh, where um, team members come with questions and discuss. So that's another way of which we keep ourselves abreast. Um, and uh, for me personally, this creating a question a day has kept me accountable in being able to like ensure whatever you like you read and you create. Uh, so that's been one thing. So yeah, small plug in. You can go and check out the Twitter handle. Thank you. Like you said, you did your entire law school from Symbiosis and two years uh, in the corporate. And now when you're working on a startup, it's not like directly linked with the law. Or like, what are the, like some like three key points that actually contribute in, I mean, I won't say the subject matter, like the law subjects, but what learnings actually is contributing to your startup journey right now? As lawyers, what happens is that uh, you're thinking of risk and mitigating risk. As an entrepreneur, you need to embrace risk calculated risk, what do you need to do? So uh, as a lawyer, you'd be like, hey, NDA nahi karna, etc, etc. But on life, you need to trust people and move, right? But at a certain stage, of, you need to have regular thing. So one unlearning is as a lawyer mindset, you're always thinking of risk mitigation, right? You need to unlearn yourself from that to become a person who can embrace risk a little. From law per se, what I would say is, uh, one is communication because as a lawyer, your ability to distill information from the jargon and trying to simplify for real life circumstances becomes very important. That uh, synthesis kind of is very useful um, that I probably take back from law. Um, and uh, probably because you need to read so much, uh, uh, that reading habit uh, also came up uh, fairly from the, so that uh, possibly is the other one thing. Thank you very much, uh, Raghav, for sharing your life story with us. Thank you very much for, you know. Thank you all. You must be thinking another pre-roll. Wait, let me just skip it. With all theory, there are some boring things which you can avoid, like the long wait for promotions or increments, or the numerous interviews before you land your dream job. At all Tuny, we make sure that you're future ready and skilled to be in the top 0.5% class. Click on the link in the description now.